Mnamo mwaka wa elfu mbili na saba, serikali ya Kenya ilizindua amara inayoshughulikia fedha za akina mama, yaani Women Enterprise Fund. Hazina hiyo ilitengwa hususan kumudu hali ya kujiinua kiuchumi kwa akina mama kwa kuwapa njia mbadala ya matumizi ya fedha zikiwemo kulipia kiwango fulani cha mkopo na mahitaji nafuu ya pesa za kulipia mkopo ambazo hazikuwa hadi hivi karibuni. The Women Enterprise Fund it was formulated basically to empower women who are not able to access um, commercial loans. The terms and conditions which our commercial sector, the banks uh, and the microfinances was giving to our women, um, the conditions were too harsh and too difficult for the women to be able to access any money to do their small businesses. Tangu wakati huo, maelfu ya wanawake na jamii kwa jumla, maisha yao yalibadilishwa sana kupitia kiwango fulani cha mkopo zinazofikia takriban bilioni tatu za Kenya na kuwafaidi wanawake wa Kenya 641,414 katika maeneo bunge 210. Hii pesa za Women Enterprise zimesaidia sana wamama. Wamama wanaanzia na 50,000, wanaenda 100,000 wanaenda 200,000 na saizi wanaenda mpaka 500,000. Hizo pesa zimetoa ile umaskini, wamama wanaanza project ya kuku, wanasonga mpaka wananunua ngombe kama hizi sangu. Na wanausa masiwa ya kutosha. Saizi si lazima wakuwe wameandikwa. Wanasomesha watoto yao vizuri na wenyewe wanakula vizuri. Tulipoanza table bank tulikuwa na pesa kidogo sana. Sasa hata mtu angetaka mkopo wa shilingi 1030 hangeweza kupata. Lakini tulivyoongezea hizo za Women Enterprise tulipata tumeinuka maana hata ukitaka 1040 unapata. Na hizi pesa zinatakikana uende utenge ufanye nini kazi ama uwe na project inaweza generate income. Nawaambia waende kwa Women Enterprise Fund wachukue pesa na waone vile itakuwa. Waajaribu tu. E, women Finance wametusaidia mara nyingi sana tumechukua mara ile hivi pesa mara ya kwanza tumechukua 50000 tukaanza na hizi mbusi nini na ile mia ya juice tulichukua tena tumeanza na hizi ma vitu za hizi matamaduni na tunashukuru na tumeelezea wa, hii wanawake wa Garissa wakuje wachukue hizi mapesa na barubangu turku na turkwenda na yaza kete kama chinyo Naweza kutaka rangama togwe naweza kete kuborosha luaza gakada yaza ki robosuwa rang tumalo turukani kwa mujibu wa utafiti wa idadi ya watu nchini Kenya unaonyesha kwamba wanawake wanamiliki zaidi ya asilimia hamsini na moja ya idadi ya watu japo wametengwa kutokana na utumiaji wa rasilimali na nafasi Ufanisi wa utekelezaji wa mamlaka ya fedha inapaswa kuzungumzia baadhi ya matatizo wanawake hupitia katika kutenda kazi na kukuza amara za kudumu. Hata hivyo, fedha zinahitajika kupunguza hali hii ya umaskini na kuzalisha nafasi za kazi kwa wanawake. And so with the Women Enterprise Fund is, came the idea that if we were to put money in the hands of the woman that does not come with the collateral, we were convinced that the policies and the regulations would now become meaningful because there would be a very clear way that they speak to the woman and that the woman then would emerge and would grow and make a greater contribution to development. Damira ya kudumu ni kuzindua mahali pa kuhudumiwa upesi pale wanawake wanaweza kupata fedha na hudma za maendeleo mengine egemevu ya kibiashara bila kudhulumiwa dhidi ya ulinzi wa fedha. Licha ya kujumuisha idadi ya wakenya na kutoa zaidi ya asilimia sabini ya nguvu za ajira hasa katika sekta ya kilimo, 
zaidi ya asilimia arobaini ya wanawake wa Kenya hawakuwa na uwezo wa kupata fedha hizo. Asilimia arobaini wengine waliweza tu kupata huduma ya fedha hizo ambazo hata hivyo ni ngumu kutokana na wingi wa masharti. I mean, one, one has to acknowledge number one that women in Kenya are uh, hard working that um, they're uh, entrepreneurial in terms of um, even what they do in their home for, because you know we, we when we look at what does it mean for a woman to be entrepreneurial we're looking at the fact that even as she's rearing her chicken even as she's uh, harvesting her maize or her shamba the reason that she's doing that is to be able to not only feed her family but in the hope that there'll be excess to sell and get additional funds so we count that as an enterprise and what we find that um, women don't move beyond a certain barrier um, one because of cultural cultural expectations um, two lack of knowledge of knowing that um, in actual fact they can actually improve what they're doing they can professionalize it uh, they can access funds um, so I would say those are the main barriers now also when they do try the ones who do move ahead and uh, try to approach um, you know institutions um, the response that they receive um, I think um, you know prohibits them from moving further. Amara hiyo ya Women Enterprise Fund iko macho katika kushughulikia changamoto hii na hii leo hazina hiyo inaleta huduma ya kifedha kwa wakati na huduma zilizo nafuu kwa kuimarisha mbinu za kibiashara kwa akina mama katika maeneo bunge yote mbili na kumi nchini Kenya over a period of 5 years we will be able to disburse uh, 3 billion Kenya shillings that money has benefited uh, about 614,000 Kenyan women spread in the 210 constituencies in terms of uh, building the entrepreneurial skills of Kenyan women we will be able to train uh, 156,000 Kenyan women. Veronica Kimengich ni mfano wa mmoja kati ya wanawake aliyefanikiwa kutoka eneo hili la Rift Valley. Mwaka ya 2010 nikachaguliwa na Women Enterprise Fund wakanipeleka training. Nikapata sponsor ya Njaika, nikapelekwa Jomo Kenyatta University kusoma. Na wakati nilisoma kumaliza nikarudi Dongai nikaendelea kufunza wamama kwa groups na nikachukua sile pesa na grupu yangu ikachukua pia pesa tukaweka samaki na saisi tuko na samaki 1500 tuko na fish pond moja kubwa na nyingine ndogo na pia niko na project za ngombe tuko mini mbrinda ama just and mbrinda na tuko pia na project zingine tuko na biogas Juhudi za Veronica zilimtunuku umaarufu wa kimataifa wa International Labour Organization katika mwaka wa 2012 kwa kuwa mfanyibiashara bora kupitia utumizi wa mkopo wa Women Enterprise Fund. Na nashukuru sana Women Enterprise Fund ndio walifund jina yangu na nikapata hii award. We want to acknowledge what the Women Enterprise Fund is doing to the women especially at the grassroots. It is really empowering it is really empowering them and they are mo- we are seeing them growing and moving forward. Rebecca Wangu kutoka Karatina naye pia ni mfano wa ufanisi. Ni mfaidi anayejivunia wa Women Enterprise Fund akiwa amepata sehemu ya mikopo kutoka mashirika ya uwekezaji na mikopo yani SACCO mara tatu. Nipatiwa 35,000. Sasa 35,000 nikaanza na fish, na fish pods. Nimaliza hiyo mlandi nikapata ya pili ya 50,000. Niko na project ya zugura niko na project ya beekeeping yeah, yeah, honey niko na project ya break making hizi pesa napataka hapa na napeleka kwa shule ikiwa ni kalo ya, ya watoto wangu sweet melodies group iliyoko gatundu ilianza kama chama kila mmoja wao akitoa shilingi mia moja. walitumia pesa hizo kuanzisha mradi mdogo wa kukuza micha ya miti nyumbani kwa mmoja wao katika kikundi hicho 
lakini mambo yalibadilika pale walipoomba na kupata mkopo wa shilingi 1500 kutoka Women Enterprise Fund. Ndaiga hedi yo twari dumite tunini. No riria twari huku ibesa iraheano ciatumia kuko ajeta. Ni twathire tukihuria form na tukeyo 1200. Na niguo twahotire kuongerera mitereko ino. Ndauri mtogevieta turutete o wira osi wako wago siarithania mitino na ku na ku na kuimtira kadri wanawake wengi wanavojihusisha katika shughuli za uzalishaji hasa jamii changa na elimu ya bure kunayo changamoto inayochipuka kwa walinzi wa watoto wadogo kutambua hili kundi la wake kwa waume kule siakago embu wakagundua nafasi ya biashara na jukumu la ushirikiano We also realized there was a, a problem around uh, about getting house girls read uh, reading. So we felt that was an opportunity for us to uh, to grasp that opportunity and make some coin out of it. That's when we started the Peniel Daycare where we are now seated. Women Enterprise Fund mshindi wa kujivunia wa Millennium Development Award kwa kuchangia kukuza usawa wa jinsia na kutiwa nguvu kwa wanawake Millennium Development Goal 3 mnamo mwaka wa 2011 imekuwa ikitoa mkopo nafuu ili kumwezesha mama mkenya mwenye biashara kupitia mikopo miwili halali iitwayo Tuinuke Loan na Jimarishe Loan. Tuinuke Loan ni mkopo unayopeanwa katika kiwango cha elfu moja ambayo pia inajulikana kama Constituency Women Enterprise Scheme nayo kutolewa kwa vikundi vya akina mama vilivyojiandikisha na ambavyo vingependa kupanua au kuanzisha biashara mpya. Jimarishe Loan ni huduma inayozidi kutoa mkopo kupitia watu au mashirika ya kifedha kama vile mabenki, mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali mashirika ya uwekezaji na mikopo, mashirika ya imani na taasisi za kifedha. Wanawake hupata pesa moja kwa moja kibinafsi au wanawake wanaomiliki biashara au kupitia njia zingine kama vile makundi, makampuni kati ya nyinginezo. Kama sehemu ya kuatia nguvu zaidi wanawake, fedha hizo zimeanza kuwahimiza wanawake kuunda mashirika au makundi ambapo hadi sasa zaidi ya mashirika kumi na mitano yamejiandikisha kuendeshwa na faida. This year we started desensitizing women in uh, the formation of our cooperative societies, be they producer related or savings and credits at societies and uh, we've been able to sensitize um, about slightly more than 4000 women and uh, we are happy to note that after the sensitization we've had about 15 cooperative societies already registered and being learned uh, successfully kigezo cha ufanisi katika biashara ni kupata faida women enterprise fund wanafahamu hii mikakati inawekwa ili kuzingatia udumishaji we see that the concept of a revolving fund is useful because one for sustainability if we are able to demonstrate the impact and if we are also able to indeed align this to vision 2030 where we have very clear um, connection as we deal with the five year plans of those categories or those groups that are vulnerable when we are looking especially at the Uh, economic uh, and social pillars then we see that it is a program or it is a fund that has a very strong foundation for sustainability because on the one hand the money that is there already is the one that is revolving and what we do is uh, encourage women to be disciplined by letting them know that they do need to access that fund and they need to ensure that they can work in such a way that they are not only gaining some profit because it's business oriented and pushing their skills but that they can uh, ensure that they repay you know in time and when that happens then we really get the money circulating family bank gave us the same same money women enterprise fund so the first one the first amount we took from family bank was 200,000. We repaid within six months, then we went back. 
we took uh, 350, we repaid within eight months. So we used to go like that, and as now, we are going to take almost one M. We are working on sustainability because we believe for us to be uh, able to serve millions of women, we must be financially sustainable. And if women have proved that they can repay their loans, even at subsidized levels, so why would you want <laughs> to take them back to, to free money grants? That money won't be available. Bila shaka, ufanisi wa kutimiza fedha za biashara za wanawake ni ishara ya peupe ya kuwashiria kujitolea kwa serikali ya Kenya na Millennium Development Goal 3 inayotangaza usawa wa jinsia na kuwezeshwa kwa wanawake pamoja na ruwaza ya Kenya ya 2030 kuhusu wanawake kama vile kupunguza utofauti wa kijinsia. With that kind of thinking in place, there is a very vital need uh, to ensure that uh, women are empowered and it's it's so vital that um, you know anybody who believes in the development of this country anyone who believes in vision 2030 would have to see that you know there is no way uh, uh, the men can manage and execute vision 2030 on their own and therefore making sure that they empower their partners who are women is also very very key and important Kweli tunashukuru sana Women Enterprising Fund. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu umbali tumefika kwa kweli ni wao. Pesa za WEF ni za maana zile kidogo tumepewa zimeweza kufanya tuweke biashara zetu. Tunafata faida kidogo kidogo ambapo tunalipa tukimaliza tunachukua zingine tunaweka biashara inakuwa kubwa. I'll recommend that women go for it. Be given and then it will eventually eradicate poverty in our nation. Na wahimiza tu wa mama wajiunge sana, especially sisi muslims. Uh, tujiunge sana, sana, sana na vikundi vya wa mama. Mimi na wahimiza tu wa mama wote, penye wako, kuangalia umi ni enterprise fund. Tumeona ya kwamba serikali wakati hui naweza kuangalia wa mama, na wa mama wale mavu wameweza kuhusishwa. Zika.